Hello, it's good. This is uh, another book review and it's but for Everyday Magic, a pagan book of days edited by Lucia Starza. And this is one that I had so much fun with uh, already and um, I, it's just a really good wee book. Let me tell you about it, what it says in the back. Everyday Magic, a pagan book of days, contains... 366 spells, rituals, meditations, pagan prayers, divinatory techniques, poems to read and recipes and craft projects to try out, along with the details of festivals that take place throughout the year. All the activities are intended to be easy to follow, so you can just pick up the book, open it to a day and find something you can do. There are festivals from the ancient world and pagan and modern pagan celebrations as well. Edited by Lucia Starza, Everyday Magic has contributions from over 40 pagan authors and practitioners, including Ellen Everett Hopman, uh, Rachel Patterson, Caroline Wise, Melissine Draco and Ellen Sentier. And I know a lot of these authors' works and they are fantastic. So what it's about, it's about going, oh... <laughs> Right, what's today about? What, what's on the calendar for today? Sometimes if we don't, you know, kind of give ourselves something to think about spiritually, uh, whether it's spell work, whether it's, you know, what the goddess of that time would be or just even what cake we should bake or it, it's just one of those books. Um, I think its predecessor would be kind of Moon Magic by DJ Conway. Uh, that was a, a really good book. I've still got that one where you can actually dip into month by month. And and this is very similar. But I would say this is um it's easier to access and it's um just very, very good. Um, my daughter and I have been going through it and we've now pinned down the birthdays of everybody in the family and what goes on that day. Um, we also opened it up on a day and um, realised that it was Hecate's day and um, just so happened that the wee recipe to leave at a crossroads was there. So we did it and it was so much fun and it felt good as well. Um, and Hecate is not a, a goddess that I would really have connected with, but for her day, it was a good thing to do and we thoroughly enjoyed it. So um, I, I just think it's one of these wee books. Look, let's look at today. <clears throat> Um, because there's lots of things in it that are spells or poems or whatever. You never really know what you're going to get. But today is Artemis, <clears throat> sister of Apollo and lover of Orion. Artemis is the virgin huntress and the one who always does what needs to be done. A moon goddess, Artemis can be a powerful ally during times when you might need strength and confidence. Now here's what to do. Take an eyeliner or marker and draw an arrow on yourself to help bring Artemis's surety into your heart and body. Leave the mark there until your next shower and reapply as needed. And that's out from Iris Anya. Um, and there's all these little things here. Um, the one that when we opened up, where was it? Yeah, the 16th was the night of Hecate. And... Um, there was another one that we found quite interesting as well. Excuse me, I'm wandering along here. But, um, yeah, the 20th Transgender Day of Remembrance, a day to remember those who have been killed as a result of transphobia, light a candle in their honour, and also research transgender pagan deities such as Dionysus of the Greek pantheon. And that's by Lucia Starza. So you can see in one way we're getting something about Hecate, then we're getting something about that's the day of transgender, uh, and then we're getting another one where it's about a goddess and how to you know make her mark on your body. And the whole book's like that. Uh, it's a joy, and I'm going to be referring to it every day. And as I say, I've already got the birthdays marked out for the extra things that uh, maybe we didn't know about on that day. And the dates do match up. That's the thing. Um, we were looking the following day at the transgender um, thing, and it was all over the newspapers um, that that was the day um, of appreciating, you know, 
people that had been killed that were transgendered. So um, it's an accurate wee book as well. And what can I say? It's just nice to have a kind of little push to go and do something or a little, you know, that we have a certain degree of knowledge and those of us that follow quite a, like Walker talk, we tend to know what we're doing at Solstice, we tend to know what we're doing in, you know, in other dates. Um, this uh, wakens you up to other things that you might not know that, oh, that was the date, or it gives you information uh, there's wee spells, there's little things about all the goddesses. Um, it's just fantastic. It's it's a wee book that um, definitely uh, I think generations in my family will have a lot of fun and joy with. So uh, again, it's Moon Books. Who's, Moon Books seems to just be getting bigger and bigger and um, they really are putting out books that we really want. You know, that I think they're listening. I feel they've got a very good online community and they seem to take on board what people want and then produce it. And that's that's the type of um, imprint publishers that we should support. Um, the people that are providing what we actually want and uh, so I, I really do like Moon Books and I will continue to hopefully review quite a few of their books because they're, they're very enjoyable. They're, they give a lot of information but without being too dry and a lot of their authors um, kind of, they write similar to myself which is in quite a conversational style and I find that's the best way to get things over even deep um you know, rituals or whatever, it's better if we can just speak the way we would speak normally. So anyway, that's the side. Um, Everyday Magic, A Pagan Book of Days by Moon Books. And as I say, it's a collection, but it's edit edited by Lucia Starza. Um, I am going to enjoy reading this just for reading it, but then going back to it in certain days and saying, oh, I wonder what's what's... Uh, for today. Uh, that's the side of it I think I'll find really enjoyable. Uh, I have enjoyed that aspect of it. We've already done about five things out of it and I've only had it a week or so. So, <laughs> so um, yeah, that would be a good one for a present as well. So I hope you've liked this uh, little book review. Give me a thumbs up if you have and um, many blessings and I hope that um, you enjoy this book if you choose to buy it. Bye now.